Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about Selenium Locators. In previous video we have completed ID and name locators. So please make sure you have gone through my previous videos. Because I have designed Selenium syllabus such that the complexity will be increasing bit by bit. So if you directly start from this video means it will be a bit tough for you if you are new to the automation. In this video we will be learning about link text, partial link text and xpath locators. The third locator is example of link locator. Now the requirement is I have to click on sign on. Just inspect for this web element you will get href values like that. To use link locator you no need to spy any value you have to give the exact web element name. Here it is sign on driver dot find element by dot link text here we have to give sign on we have to click get. I will run and see control F11 application is launched entered the value and it clicked dot sign on now the fourth locator partial link text in the partial link text I want to give a partial value only from the name itself you can guess instead of destination I am going to give des same way driver dot find elements by dot partial link text inside this des this is a value dot click let us see the execution f11 application is launched entered the value clicked on sign on and then it clicked at destination it's under construction page let me summarize we have totally eight locators till now we have seen four locators for id and name we have to inspect the element for link text and the partial link text there is no need to inspect the element just we have to give the web element name the fifth one is xpath we have two types of xpath one is absolute xpath another one is a relative xpath we will have a separate video for this xpath alone for time being just understand how to use the xpath locator for this example i am going to use rail euro world.com we have to maximize it make it as a mandatory step manage dot windows dot maximize after this we should know the xpath values i opened the rail euro page we know the input value brussels and paris then click on search button how to inspect this just right click inspect this is the value for from web element right click copy xpath paste into a notepad same way inspect two web element this is two web element copy xpath after that you can inspect like this also for search right click copy xpath so we have xpath for three web elements now we will apply it in the coding driver dot find element method by dot xpath inside this we have to give the xpath value from give within the quotes dot send keys the value is Brussels same way driver dot find element by dot xpath 
two value dot send keys Paris the next step is driver dot find elements by dot xpath search button value we have to click on the search box save it now I am going to execute shortcut is control F11 application is launched maximized Brussels Paris it entered and clicked on search button that's why it is loading for our requirement from Brussels to Paris we have these many trains hope you understood how to use the XPath locator that's the end of today's session in next video we'll be continuing the rest of the locators with example please subscribe for the notification mails for my uploads in case of any clarification kindly mail me or post your comments thanks for watching happy learning